Hi guys! So, before starting everything, I wanted to tell you who I am. My name is Alessandra, I'm 20 and I am Italian. I live in Italy right now and yeah, my first language is Italian, so of course I'm not bilingual in, with English. So, if I make some mistakes speaking English, please don't judge me because yeah, I'm not bilingual and I didn't go abroad to study English, I just studied German and Japanese abroad, so yeah, if I make mistakes, I'm sorry, <laughs> I, I didn't mean to. So yeah, I'm making the videos in English because I want people to understand it. I want more people to understand it because if I made them in Italian, it would be just for Italians. So yeah. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. So today, I thought of bringing you with me to university so you can see how actually is the life of a university student in Venice. Uh, right now I am a Japanese major student, so yeah, I'm studying Japanese and my second language is Korean. Um, today, so you're going to see two Japanese classes. The first one will be, um, I think, grammar with a Japanese speaking teacher. And the second one will be sort of conversation. I don't know, it's a new class that I have this semester and I just started this semester, so I still don't know what it will be. Yeah. in Venice is small and narrow street and when I say small street I mean small street look oh and you also have to be careful of high water like here as you can see the water is already quite high and this is like normal level water in this zone but when the tide goes up you know that Venice becomes like yeah goes underwater so you have to bring your boots if you don't want to swim in the super clean water of Venice as you know okay so here are some buildings where we do most of our classes as oriental languages department and usually here today is not today but it was like three days in a row that there were cruise ship here and today you're unlucky guys because there's just these but usually there are cruise ship and when you have to go here studying or having exams you see people going on vacation and you're like the fuck so yeah here. waiting for the other teacher to arrive <laughs> she's playing she draws manga and she's so good so go check her out her instagram profile and yeah yeah publicize scusa è importante cosa credo
There's no one yet here because I'm the first to go out. And yeah, this is our beautiful building here in San Basilio. And yeah, this is like abandoned and it will always be, I think. one here okay I can show you the class this is the class this is a small class we also have like bigger class with like 200 places to sit but this is a kind of normal class so yeah these were the classes I'm sorry I couldn't record that much but you know our Japanese teachers are quite strict so if they saw me with a GoPro, they would be like, what are you doing? And then they no, like, put that away. And yeah, so I had to record just a little bit, but it was fun. And so now I'm going back home. These are the two buildings of Oriental languages. So here, here at my university, so Kaposka University, Oriental languages is divided in five curricula, let's say five courses, which are Chinese, Japanese, Korean, um, Indian, so Hindi is the first language, and Middle East. So you can study like two languages that you begin together, like Arabic or Turkish or Persian, stuff like that. Ciao, Kani. Ciao, Kani. Amore mio.